Hello again, student doctors. Let's talk about PCSK9 inhibitors. Alirocumab, Evolocumab. Let's talk about their mechanism of action. In order to understand that, you need to understand PCSK9 is. It's a protein. PCSK9 stands for Pro-Protein Convertase Subtilisin Kexin Type 9. PCSK9 for short. It's a serine protease. What that means is it's a protein that cleaves other proteins at serine residues. In this case, PCSK9 specifically cleaves the LDL receptor at serine residues. This plays an important role in cholesterol metabolism by regulating LDL receptor degradation. Uh, this produces a moderate additional decrease in LDLC when compared with ezetimibe or niacin alone. PCSK9 inhibitors are often added on top. It's shortly after its discovery in 2001, the gene encoding this serine protease was implicated in familial hypercholesterolemia. From the name, you can see that alirocumab and evolocumab are monoclonal antibodies, and they affect the trafficking of the LDL receptor. In order to demonstrate that, I'm going to use this figure. So in the condition of A, you will note that secreted PCSK9 binds to the LDL receptor on liver cell surface and mediates the lysosomal degradation of the complex formed by PCSK9, the LDL receptor and low density lipoprotein. That whole complex you can see is degraded in this lysosome that gets internalized. In B, there's an inhibitory monoclonal antibody present, which binds and sequesters PCSK9 from forming this complex. What that means is degradation of the LDL receptor is inhibited. In that case, you get a large number of LDL receptors on the surface of the liver cell. And because they're not being degraded, they remove cholesterol better when you inhibit PCSK9 serine protease activity with this inhibitory monoclonal antibody. And these are the abbreviations. So from a genetic perspective, they started noticing that folks with a gain of function or loss of function of the allele that encodes PCSK9 produced high and low levels of LDL cholesterol, respectively. And these antibodies again interfere with the ability of PCSK9 to bind to the LDL receptor. So this leads to a higher LDL receptor expression and therefore lower plasma levels of LDL cholesterol. So they're very safe, first tested as recently as 2009, pretty significant lipid lowering effects, regardless of whether the patients are on statins or ezetimibe. The lipid lowering effect was not affected by age, sex, intensity of statin regimen, atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk, or presence of diabetes. These drugs are indicated in patients with familial hypercholesterolemia with individuals with atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. These drugs are contraindicated in folks who are hypersensitive to them. While they're safe, there were adverse effects associated with them in a bunch of people, but limited to injection site swelling, rash, limb pain, fatigue. Less than 1% reported mental confusion and other neurocognitive issues. Runny nose, sore throat, symptoms of a cold. Likewise with alirocumab, there were a lot of adverse events reported, including injection site reactions. Because these drugs are rather new, they don't quite know the long-term side effects and risks of PCSK9 inhibitors. As late as 2014, the FDA put out a warning about possible cognitive adverse effects. Hence, the FDA asked companies to include neurocognitive testing in their phase three trials. As a result, 2020 study indicates that these drugs do not show increased incidence of neurocognitive impairments. So what you could note is that in the Journal of American Cardiology in May of 2020, the cognition after lowering LDL cholesterol with evolocumab, that evolocumab added to a background statin did not affect cognitive performance in a subset of 1,204 patients enrolled in what they're terming the Fourier study. And you can see that link here. There are no black box warnings associated with PCSK9 inhibitors. In general, antibodies are metabolized by the reticuloendothelial system. So that is it for PCSK9 inhibitors. Aralocumab, Evolocumab, endeavor to persevere, student doctors.